Hello, welcome back to Tarot Time with Andy. Thank you for being here. This is my vibrational reading. Please do your own research for entertainment purposes and allegedly. Hello, good morning, good evening, and good afternoon. And thank you for being here. And thank you for the super thanks. So I was sent a email telling me I need to check out Popcorn Planet. Apparently it is a new bomb show on Amber Heard being the black male queen and a madame black male queen at that. And that Elon Musk is more the survivor than we ever realized that she has photo sh taken pictures and film of him in very precarious uh, situations. There were cuddle parties that uh, Amber was head of. Uh, she was painted as uh, being similar to Maxwell uh, with sex games. She's sitting in a throne doing acts in front of a room full of uh, billionaires there. Uh, all the sources uh, from Popcorn Planet, they've checked it out, are saying it's true. Uh, that she, you know, coerces and cajoles people into very um, situations that they can't get out of, in essence. Uh, so she blackmails. So basically, this whole thing about me saying earlier that she's blackmailing Elon, there you have it. So now we know why he is sending her limousines, letting her fly on his planes, sending her in different places. Uh, currently, as of right now, she is in uh, Israel, and uh, so is Ben Shapiro, apparently. He would be great interviewing her. So let's get some cards on Madame, Madame uh, Amber. Madame Amber and the cuddle parties, they called it. We have here the wheel. Came in sideways, so she wasn't sure it can go either bad or good way as far as good luck or bad luck. It is a turning point nonetheless. <laughs> It could go either way, so it was sideways. So this is her situation. She knows at any point in time her luck can run out. And if her luck can go good, either way. She was taking it either way because she's enjoying herself. Let's go this way. Yeah, and she was feeling abundant. Probably either way she would feel abundant. So let's get to the challenging position with Amber being the Maxwell type energy. Maxwell type energy of Amber Heard, that pot. Yep, she knows at any point in time the challenging position is she would be uh, put it in a position she could, herself couldn't get out of because she's blackmailing other people and it could come back and bite her, in essence, with the Eight of Swords, which would be self-sabotaging herself. Then what would she do being a narcissist and a histrionic who likes to create public uh, outcry? Uh, she would just claim victimization. You know, she would say, I'm helpless, I'm helpless, but she would have a challenging, that's a challenging position to claim helplessness and self sabot you know, victimization. Because it is basically, uh, you're a victim in your own mind and just claiming victim typically in this position. So yeah, that would be difficult, challenging for her to claim innocence. Let's get to the feelings in the situation. A focal point, excuse me, focal point. We have here the three of wands with the two of swords and the hermit in reverse. So with these three cards here, she was hoping that it would cause improvement in her life. Excitement, pleasure, light her fire, obviously. She likes the attention. Uh, it's it's um, creation of expression and growth. She liked that. She felt she was expressing herself in a very sexual way, I would say. Uh, giving it passion. There's that fire. The wands are about passion. So it was passion, creating it, expressing it. Uh, she really enjoys that. She enjoys that collaboration of the threes with the twos, which is uh, twos are all about taking the first step. So she took the first step. She's kind of a leader. And with the two of swords, it could put her possibly in a very compromising situation where it would be difficult uh, making decisions. So she is in a decision-making person here and a creative per position here where she light the fire to do it. And then we have here the hermit in reverse. With the hermit in reverse, uh, this is someone who won't take advice. <laughs> Sounds like Marco. And uh, it's someone who will withdraw from loved ones, doesn't want them to know about it, a bit of a misfit. Uh, this person here, they hang this this position here with the hermit in reverse. Uh, they tend to be immature. They won't they won't uh, follow intelligence whatsoever. Uh, they do tend to suffer from sadness and loneliness. So out of sadness and loneliness, uh, she made this compromise 
uh, and a decision to start something, to start something for passion and, and a, a creative outlet, a sexual creative outlook, uh, which required loyalty because it's a wand is about loyalty and it's also about doing. It's not talking, it's doing, okay? Here she thought it up, here she's doing it. Uh, and uh, she was using her creativity sitting on that throne doing acts. Yeah, she likes to act in her own way. <laughs> I'll just say it that way nicely. Got to be careful how I verbalize things. Let's get the hidden energy here. The hidden energy, the root. What is the root here with Madame Amber? Madame Amber, the root. The root for Madame Amber. Here we go. She was going to manifest and make it happen. Yes, she felt she had all the tools and the connections to use it to her benefit. Also, this could be someone who can lie easily and manipulate easy and take whatever you want and make it a, a visual feast, in essence. Uh, it is magic. So this is a mastery. It's about trying to be an expert. Uh, it's sort of training. Uh, it is using all tools available. It is having the willpower and she thinks she has the power to change things and make things her way. So she felt she would be an expert. She thought she would be an expert at it. Mm -hmm. And this is something she wanted to hide. Don't want people to know about what I'm doing under the surface here. So kind of a dark, dark magic probably. Controlling other people too. Let's get to the past position. Past position, the recent past in this. And uh, Amber being a Madame, Madame Amber, Madame Amber, here we go, Madame Amber, we have here, oh, she had to say goodbye to it, she had to drop it at some point in time and walk away, so yeah, she had to walk away and say goodbye, and she's still stuck with the situation, and she cannot erase it, because it is now leaking out now. And there is no silver lining looking back at it. She's trying to turn her back from it because she can't find the silver lining in it. And she's stuck in that position. She's stuck with trying to overcome it. And there's no harmony with the situation now. She doesn't want people knowing. I don't. I have. I walked away. I. I don't want people knowing I did that. There's no. There. The six in reverse. So yeah, she doesn't want people to know. She really doesn't want people to know. It's an emotional thing she wants to put behind her. Obviously, with these two cards here. Let's, because they're both in water here. Let's get to the next position here. She possessed it. She was sort of in control. Uh, this is someone who's uh, who wants to hold everything tightly to their chest. It's also about gaining material possessions, uh, gaining fuel. Uh, this is the greedy miser card. So this was something she was holding near and dear to her chest. She enjoyed it. She liked it. She wanted to own it. She wanted to keep it. She wanted to continue doing it. She wanted to possess herself and other people. She wanted to collect people. It's a very miserly card, either upright or reverse, because it made her feel stable. It gave her a sense of stability since it's a four. Four is about trying to build a foundation because she felt bored and everything felt stale. So she wanted to build this up and she wanted to manifest it. She thought it would be exciting and make her life better and improve her life, give her more growth and expression and expansion. So she thought maybe it would expand her career probably. Uh, so let's go to the feelings in the situation. The feelings in the situation. We have here the 10 of wands. It became a burden. It became a burden and um, with it, she did gain some strength and stamina from doing it but she ended up saying no to it because it was a heavy responsibility. And um, yeah, it was it was a burnout. She, she, she experienced a burnout. She did experience a burnout with it. So she did walk away from it. Let's get to the um, outside influences, outside influences for Amber, Madame Amber, Madame Amber, the outside influences, how did they feel about her? How did the outside influences that she brought in feel about her? We have here the Page of Swords in reverse. So she was a spy. She felt there was a lot of people spying. Outside sources were spying on her. Didn't make her feel good. There were detectives looking at her, people, lots of people looking, and so she's trying to claim it's all talk. It's all talk, it's not true. She's gonna stay silent about it. She's not gonna talk about it because it's a negative message. 
and she doesn't want people to hear about it and she's gonna lie about it she's not going to be truthful because the sword is down she's gonna lie 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 she's gonna say oh i didn't do that she's gonna say that if she does get caught she'll say it was poor judgment she'll say that oh it was brutality i cut out of that uh, it's all lies. It's, it's blocks. It's mental blocks. That's cruel for people to say that about me. I didn't do that, but this is a card of spying and, and people being very inquisitive. So that's why this is coming out now because the outside resources have discovered it and she is going to lie. She is going to lie about it. She's not going to be truthful. She doesn't want people to have that light bulb moment and go, Oh wow. Okay. Whoa. She's a little free there. Isn't she doesn't want people to know about it. Because she's already in the hot seat. Let's get to the hopes and fears. The hopes and fears. Hopes and fears. We have here the two of wands in reverse. So with the two of wands in reverse, is this is someone who put plans together. She did put the plans together. And this is in the position where you sit back, you put the plans together, but you don't act on it just yet. So the hopes and fears, she got the fear aspect. She's She created a lot of confusion at this point in time. So she did put it together. She did, she, you know, she was sitting on it for a long time, uh, but then she ended up realizing that she lacked uh, some key information on probably managing it. She probably had some poor management skills, I would say, and, and with her skills and being able to do it. Plus she had people spying on her. So she had some, she was trying to confuse people about what the activity actually was and hoping that they lack key information because it's in reverse. She doesn't want people to know um, that she made these proposals because this is making a, a proposal. It is putting things together. It's creating a crossroad for people to come in. If they want to, they can. If they don't, fine, but you have a choice uh, because it's a two. She was putting all this, these first steps together and creating it. So she was a creator in this, but doesn't want people to know she had to create some confusion of how and where it's located because it's secret because people are spying they cannot they cannot be easily found so it's sort of a secret we got to keep it quiet because there's too many eyes on us so let's create some confusion on where it's located they could have moved around because this is a travel card as well so they could up uh, here they're not going to move around you're just putting plans together of where to go here they're more likely to take off and go go to that location so she wanted to keep the locations kind of private because of the spying and all the inquisitive individuals and detectives and people uh, could arrest her and cause a lot of problems. So she wanted to keep it on the down low. This is really trying to keep it on the down low. Let's get to the final call here. Final outcome, final outcome, final outcome. It Kate gave her five of swords. Five of swords is being trapped in her head, having a lot of conflicts. Uh, hearing too much coming from both sides, more than likely, people talking. Uh, there was a lot of wisdom trying to give her advice because we have those birds there. The, uh, the crows are all about uh, rebirth and new beginning. So she really thought she could have rebirth and new beginning doing this, but there ended up being a lot of conflicts for her. And so with that, she's not, not sure what she should do. Uh, you could see here there's it's you know raising her arm up going to spirit so she she spiritually kind of probably felt it was wrong she knew it was wrong so that's another reason why she's conflicted even though she's probably she doesn't care too much but she knows on a subconscious level more than likely uh, this is also hurt people hurt others so she created a lot of resentment around her so people were probably talking about her and she was hearing and getting the gossip and people talking about her that's the talk here the spying she got what people were saying about her uh, and hearing the hearsay uh, of the gossip and it was causing a lot of problems for her and so i think she wanted to fly off and be free here and get away from it because she knew this is sort of being judged here and fearing judgment and swallowing her pride. She wanted to win at all costs, but she ended up hurting herself and this created resentment from all her opponents and people she took down while doing it. Apparently there's some really dark stuff that she did like ripping off clothes of other women, uh, the jealousy, the hatred coming from her, the control aspects. So it created a lot of resentment for people that did get sucked into it. 
and she was getting she was getting wind of what they were saying about her and so this created a problem that's why she had to walk away why she had to walk away so that's why that's why she got out of it because she was probably afraid of what would happen to her under the surface yeah she took a risk there's the fool's card she took the risk and she did it let's get some more on that let's get some more on that fool's card that fool's card fool's card yep and she thought that she could control herself from within and not let that devil side come out she thought she'd be a better leader in the situation uh, but you know she got wind that um, probably she could flip she can go from being cool to uncool more than likely flip on a dime very very passionate about about the new path the new journey an emotional journey so she kind of enjoyed it let's get some more on that and what she ended up creating was a four of swords in reverse so it ended up creating a lot of anxiety and a healing position a lot of people that she was involved with were felt defeated and they had to heal some people felt totally destroyed to the point where they can never rebuild same with her little organization here due to the conflict she could not rebuild it it got crashed down and it cannot be rebuilt it, it created a major shake up uh, and a lot of inner conflicts with other people and a lot of fear of what can happen to her, which could put her in deep trouble here with the Four of Swords. Four of Swords is like a coffin card too. It could really end her and it created a ton of anxiety, not only for herself, but other people who got involved. And then we have here, because the Knight of Pentacles uh, would be that um, something coming, you know, the messages getting out there and dropping the messages everywhere they go, talking about it, people knowing about it, you know, everywhere they go on their mission in life, people are going to drop seeds about it and which would trail back to where her location is, not wanting people to know where she's operating. So it was all this talk and the buzz that was going on around her put her in a, 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 a position where it had to come crashing down. So she crashed it. She did crash it. She had to. And then we have here because she wants to appear idolistic with the page of cups and she wants nothing but positive messages and she wants to act like she's that nurturing loving individual she wants people to see her this way idolistic nurturing uh birthing new things all in a positive way not in a negative way she wants to be seen as uh, idolistic completely nurturing motherly female empowerment just love 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 someone who is a delight to be around and she's not a delight to be around she's trouble she's trouble she the, if you go to popcorn planet and you hear it uh you will get an earful so there you have it an earful for sure so yeah madame 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 she is a madame like maxwell who knew who knew you know we're in like a couple months past the past the you know this whole beginning of the trial and we're just now getting into this so it looks looks like things are going to get a little darker and deeper uh with amber so that should be fun to trail <laughs> to say the least and i got to get back on the housewives too so i'm going to do housewives i'm going to do amp continue with amber i'm going to do the shooting from michigan there's that trial starting in september so i'll be doing that too so i've got a lot a few things i'm going to try and put out you know i should probably do two two videos a day one of her and one of maybe the housewives and occasionally i'll throw in the crumbly shooter case as well so that is what's going on here with tarot time with andy and thank you for being here thank you so much bye you guys